the heck am I doing here? The hell are you doing to my car? No, seriously, what am I doing here? Why am I here? I literally have no idea why I'm here. Well, what the balls, dude? Is this even the right file? Hang on. No, it's the right file, yeah. I'm wasting so much time here trying to figure out why I'm here. Hey, you know what? Do we have pictures of these cows? Yeah, we do. Wait, Hatino cow? Okay, I guess they don't have cows in Lurland Village. Like, is there anything else I can take a picture of here? <laughs> any trees, any torches? Nah, we're not gonna waste time with that. Uh, so, my objective with this video was mainly just to go ahead and take care of the side quests. If we go on the left here, we see all our main quests here. Those will pretty much always be there. The side adventures is also kind of big stuff, like filling out the compendium, which we're doing a horrible job of. Oh yeah, I wanted to do these. Dude, I'm doing these ones, like right now. Bring peace to Nekluda. These are some of my favorite side quests in the game. And I, lit I haven't done any of them. I like happened to cross one by accident one time. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go do this. All right, so just having to walk to a shrine and then having to ascend because it's a yet another underground shrine. Uh, we're just gonna make way out to the field here. This, is this the same field that I think it is? Yeah, this is like the field that leads over, leads into Hatino Village eventually. And in the first game, a huge battle happened here and this is where Link almost died. You know, because he didn't die on the toilet. Anyway, to him. what am I doing? Uh, but yeah, well in this game obviously it's a little bit more cleared out. There's some rock stuff here, there's definitely some thick forest there. But no sign that anything ever happened here. Is that a lino down there? What is that? I think it's a bokoblin on a horse. Anyway. Well, we gotta head toward the quest marker here, what are we doing? I'm not sure whether the quest marker is going to show up where the actual battle takes place or if it's just... Or if it's going to take us to... Yeah, yeah, there they are. That's what I was hoping. I was hoping it would take us to the people. So this will happen occasionally. Like, if, you, if you're if you lucky, it'll happen. It hasn't happened to me. But, uh... You run into the army. And this is how it's supposed to happen. You're not supposed to run into the battle and then they join you later. <laughs> He's like, it's an honor to see you again. Hey, how are you doing? Try to get your face up here. We're moving on a monster base up ahead. They're d they've dug in once again. After we approach, we'll wait for the right moment. And then launch our attack. Nothing would make me happier than to have you assist us again. Ah, this good old sense of community, man. You can say what you want about this game, but this little thing here, with you, like, joining in to help out, it's like you're actually fighting a war. But it's not even really a war, it's just like, hey... Well, it is, but... You know, but... Hey! Monster Control Crew Halt? Yeah, see, and they're not, like... You know, you're not just running in and fighting, either. It's like, you're gonna stand here for a second, you're gonna gather the army together, get everybody all psyched up, and then we just move on in. And this is perfect that it happens to be night while this is happening. Oh, they're gonna wake up anyway, though. Oh, there's Silvers in here. Oh, I thought this was gonna be easy. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna run in and start bashing stuff left and right here. Maybe burn some of these spike things, too. Yeah, go ahead and get rid of the small ones so they're not shooting you from off-screen trying to distract you. We also have a couple of avatars here helping us out. I don't like the look at that sword he's carrying, though. Oh, God, man. We're gonna waste up a bunch of weapons here. <clears throat> Barely see what's happening. Yeah, but, like, there's so many of us here fighting together, and I just... The feeling of this is lovely. I'm sure there's other games that do stuff to this effect. But good lord, I tell ya. Um, oh, he's about to take a dump, so... Oh, God, nice dump. Man, I tell you. No, get back here. I'm sorting you in the butt. Don't you want to turn around? Oh man, those guys got knocked out. That was way too early for a thing, but he he headbutted so far that he went right over my head. And then he just kicked there. And that went basically past my side. Man, my armor is so good that all I gotta do is just stand here and button mash. It's like a one-button game at this point. I guess two buttons if you count locking on. This other guy's hanging in here somehow. So going to waste our entire Master Sword on this guy. But it's so cool because you get to watch the Monster Forces, you know, life bar. Their collective life bar as a whole just go down and down and down. And the further down it goes, the more you're winning. So why don't we just go ahead and... Wait, what? Oh, he's fighting the other guy. I thought he was confused. You know, I could have confused him if I wanted to. Just throw a little muddle butt out there and... Yeah, here you go. Oh man, I set him up for you, but you died just before you got a chance to... 
deliver the crucial blow. Let's go ahead and finish you off. Boy, there's gonna be more supplies to get here than you're gonna shake a stick at. Royal Claymore there. Let's go ahead and get these over here. That's Moblin Guts. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, are you gonna try? Are you gonna try me? Are you the only one left? I don't know. It's kind of... Yeah, I guess you are. Oh, just push it in there. Push it in there real good. Oh, we got one more over here that survived. He's just hanging out on the corner. Yes! Link, I'm so grateful for everything you did for us. If you don't mind, could you come here for a moment? Ah, uh, yes. With pleasure. Another incredible battle. Another great night of shice. Oh, I nearly forgot. Please accept this reward. Yes, thanks for letting me go. Silver rupee. Don't really need it, but it's the thought that counts, right? Look at all these bucket heads. Man, that person on the far right looks like a male Zelda. I don't know. <laughs> or should I say gender bent? I'm not sure what we're calling it these days, but... <clears throat> and that one's complete. That's also a side adventure. The side adventures and side quests are different in this game. Side adventures are longer, often consisting of multiple events. Yeah, events. It took me that long to think of that word. That's what I get for recording right before I go to bed, I guess. So we just kind of run through here, and now this is where that... What is that? Oh, it's a cooking pot that's like smoldering. Ah, because it's raining out here. Ain't that something. Man, this place is probably crawling with Koroks, if I had to guess. Well, I guess there's two of them that are pretty close nearby. One of them I just walked right past, right over here by the gate. Uh, I think it's probably probably on top of the gate. Oh, it's raining, though. Well, fortunately, we have a solution for this that doesn't involve, like, you know, shield bashing or shield rocketing or whatever. Anyway, here it is. I see it. I saw a star fragment back there. I'm tempted to maybe go check it out. Da -da -da -da. You never know what may happen. I'm already up to 48 of those. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't think I was doing that good. Oh, man, it's way up there, though. Um, I could do this again, but once again, I'm just going to hit the mountain on top of it. Or maybe not. Let me see, where is that? Oh, that's a ways away right there. Uh, is there anywhere we can jump down to it? Wait, what time is it, actually? It is 2.50 a.m. So, like, if I don't get there super fast here... I don't think I have time to get to that. I'm just going to ignore it. Because, by the way, we're be but besides, we're fighting Koroks here right now. We're fighting Koroks. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're fighting them. So there's another one, like, literally a few steps away here. Let me just pull myself on over here. Oh, it's a, it's a house. Just some random house out in the middle of the woods. What's going on in here? There's wood. Well, I'm stealing it. There's flint. I'm stealing it. There's pots. Not stealing those. Well, should we play, like, the classic Zelda and break the pots here? Let's pretend, we're pl Let's pretend we're playing Ocarina of Time. Drop a pot, get a blue rupee. What does the book say? There's a journal here with entries signed Calip. Oh, not that dude. Okay, sure, whatever. They're calling it the Upheaval. They're calling it the Umbreon. It's a Pokemon, but this is the wrong game for that. Next page, I'm just gonna stop. Well, okay, no, um... I guess if you want to see this, you can pause the video if you're really that desperate. I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm leaving. I don't, <laughs> I don't care about none of that crap. Uh, it's it's kind of sad, really, because I should. But I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, fairy lights over the chimney. Not unlike the one that you find in Breath of the Wild on top of the old man's house on the Great Plateau at the beginning of the game. I actually finished a sentence without having to stop and think of what word came next. That's amazing. It's funny how that happens to you, though. So we don't have this one up here. Wow. Okay. Wait, apparently there's... Oh, oh, boy. There's this one. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. I mean, you know, because why not? I've done this one before, and for the life of me, I don't remember how I did it. But if I had to guess, it's probably something stupid. I'm actually kind of wondering... Can you attach these guys to a hover bike? And if you can, would it still work? Because I'll tell you right now, if you could do that, you could break any one of these... This guy wants to get to his friend who's basically across the way, across the river. The problem is there's monsters on the way there. But the good news, as we've established before, is that you can put these guys in the water and they will float. So I am going to just basically drop you off right there. Don't panic, little buddy. I'm going to get you from the other side. You don't worry about a thing. There are silver 
little goblins over there though, so be careful. Maybe I should put on my uh, sneaky sneakies. If it makes it a little bit less likely that they see me, then that's so much the better. Anyway. Oh god, can't reach him. Oh, surely I can reach- Oh, yes I can, yes I can. I was gonna say, I know I can reach that. That's how I did it last time. So I'm gonna do it again. So do we want to try to avoid getting attacked? Have they spotted me? I don't know how to really tell. I know they have, like, the exclamation point when they do see you. RUN! <laughs> oh my god, that's so scary when she says run in Minority Report. Okay, you can just lay off. Because I'll tell you something right now. I already got all the Aracuda wings I need. I don't need your old jackassery right now. Wait, you can't even hit me. And I'm moving two miles a minute here. That would actually be pretty fast, wouldn't it? <laughs> Uh, that's like 120 miles an hour. Hello. Okay, so that wasn't anywhere near as bad as it was last time. Because last time I tried to carry him through the camp and I had them chasing me the whole time. Alright, well that's cool. So from here, why don't we just ascend? Yeah, this is one of those cool places where you can see like through the... See holes in the ceiling. Don't really have a... Much of a way to get up. I mean, I can't like... Oh, oh, hi. Like likes have feet. I'm telling you, man. Let me see if I can ascend through up here. I think I can probably do that. I don't know if maybe he just can't see me or what the deal is with him. Let's see here. Oh yeah, 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 there's totally a spot. Man, this ability is so broken, let me tell you. And I love it. I think they meant for it to be a little bit. So you come up out on top here, let's see where we actually are. Oh, okay, we're not as close to it as I thought we were gonna be. Oh, dude, okay. <laughs> I feel like this is in a different spot where I remember it being in the first game, because I thought, in, or maybe there's just two spots that look like this with a big hole where you can see down below. But there was like a spot like that in the first game, but there was a Hinox down there, and I thought that was actually over here by this cliff. And maybe it is still there and I just haven't been there yet? What does the hero's path say? Oh jeez, I haven't been doing nothing over here. There's like all kinds of crap I haven't seen. Anyway, <laughs> that's what's so interesting about it though. I don't know why this diamond is here. Maybe that's for something down below. Might be Lizalfos, actually. Green Lizalfos. I know I was marking a lot of those. But anyway... Well, hang on a second, though. This this might also be down below. There's a Korok right here on the map, and there's clearly nothing here, so... If it is down below, that means I didn't need to come up here at all, then, doesn't it? Oh, let's go find it. Let's go get the damn mouse. Hmm... Oh, I'm seeing stuff here. What if it's like a balloon beast? It might be a balloon beast. Or it could be like, yeah, it is, isn't it? Like, yeah, look at that, right there. Boom. Yeah. Shoot, there was another one up there I could have gotten. Do I have that one? Or, yeah, there's one up here on top of this. I could have just gone for that. Well, you know what? There's still time. Given to me, might still be time. Is that two green mile quotes in five minutes? Man, I'm on a roll here. Can't even remember what the last quote was now. <laughs> Finding new objective. I got that thing set to horse and it's still going off, I tell you. Okay, I, I made it back up top. I wasn't sure where to cut back in here. I'm working my way up the mountain. I think the Korok is actually up here. It's like one of those cork ones, so... Cork as in C-O-R-K, not Q-U-A-R-K. Let's see if we can find it here. Oh, yeah, I think that's probably it right there. Actually, wait a minute. It's not right there. That's... Okay, I'm seeing a lot of rocks and flowers, and this is a weird looking place, man. Let me tell you. Wait, is that it over there? Yeah, I see it now. We might have to bring these rocks over to that, or we could just attach this to it. Either way, we need weight, and we just don't have it right now. So here. We made a mess down there, but it was worth the trouble. Didn't I say I was supposed to be doing side quests in this video? What the frick frack is this? Man, I'll tell you what. Wait, I was here earlier and there was a Korok here I didn't get. Jeez. Whereas it's just south of us here. There's also one right here, but we have to carry him from over here somewhere. So. Oh my god, I'm actually... Okay, side quests and Koroks. That's what we're doing, not just side quests. I can make that kind of a decision. After all, it's my playthrough. What you gonna do about it? All right, where are you at, bastard? There you are. This looks like a fun one, actually. Hello. Oh, my friend and I got separated, and just for once, the friend is actually lower than me, which is so cool, by the way. 
Yeah, I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired though, I can't move. Okay. Okay. Well, Why am I beating you up with a dick? Uh Wow, that actually is a dick. Here. Here, have a six spear. Oh, right in the shit. Oh my god. Man, we were playing dodgeball with that dude or something. <laughs> like I just Oh. Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. You're not you're not rolling away like a piece of doo-doo. You're not rolling away like a piece of doo-doo, thank you. The more we drop this guy, the more likely we are to lose track of him, so... Yeah, I know you need to reach your friend. I'm taking you there right now, buddy. I can walk downhill, too, just as well as I can walk uphill. Just be careful where you drop this guy. I know I had another one of these where, like, I put him on a... something... a little vehicle of some sort. And just rolled him downhill. Completely lost track of him. Anyway... It's tricky because you can't really move the camera while you're doing this, so you kind of just have to... Here, just drop you in the water. We'll catch up later. Or I could just roll him right on into his friend. Hell, that might even be close enough right there. I'm waiting here for my friend. My friend is over that way. I wonder what happened. Don't... I was gonna say, please don't pan the camera over to him. Although I would have understood if it had done that. Anyway, there's my friend. Yeah, now that we're starting to do these ones, we're getting two at a time, which is really bashing that number up there. It's just bashing that number up there. Bashing, I tell you. Bastion. That's a good game, and also the main character of the never-ending story. And also a half of a stage in Kingdom Hearts. I know I've mentioned that before. What is... what? Tireless Frog? Okay. Hightail Lizards. Oh my gosh, yeah. Didn't know those were out here. Anyway. Well, the other Koroks should be kind of in this vicinity. I think it's actually above us. Um, there's a little outcropping on the cliffside somewhere that just has a rock on it. It's really simple. See if we can see it from here. Oh, it's probably running under one of those. Well, what I'm gonna do then, I'm just going to ascend. Because I remember that I have this ability for a change. I don't think I've been too bad about forgetting that I have it, but I totally understand why people forget that they do. Especially when they're first starting out, it's just like, oh my god, I can do this. Because you wouldn't think that a game would give you that kind of an ability. So, a lot of times when you're playing it, you're still thinking in the mindset of, oh, I'm playing Skyrim, or I'm playing Dark Souls or something. Not that I know anything about either of those two games. Although I've heard they're both great. Uh, let's see. Oh, I thought that said Metroid Plane for a second there. So there is one up here, another Korok, but I don't know if it's worth climbing all that way. I think we're just going to move on to the next side quest here. So which one's that going to be? There's probably, there's not like another side adventure for more... Joining up with the army and kicking some ass. I guess not. Master Koga, that'll come in due time. More than likely, if we ever do a, another Depths... Well, when we do another Depths run. So Shrine Quest is basically like Crystal Quest and stuff. We have all those done that we need. I'm sure that's not all there is. Whirly swirly things, I think we'll get back to that at some point. But Hidden Treasure at Lizard Lakes. Well, what about this one where you take the picture of... Uh, take the picture of Spectacle Rock. The quest marker tells you where Spectacle Rock is, but not necessarily where is a good place to take the picture. I remember trying this in a previous video, thinking I could just take the picture from midair. Oh, no, 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 the quest marker is the stable where you take the picture too. And Spectacle Rock is right here. So you could try to take a picture while jumping down to it, but now that I think about it, do you even take pictures in that mode? Because last time I tried to, I kind of couldn't. Anyway, what you want to do is just go to the sky. Um... I think to the side. Why is there a star there? Try this island right here. I think this will work. Alrighty then. Here we are. This is going to be a bit of a run here, but I guess we'll get there sooner or later. So a lot of times these islands that are shaped like T's and X's or whatever, they're all kind of the same, you know, and there's usually one, like, extension where there's nothing there. And it just so happens that this time there is going to be something there. I'll take that. And this as well. <laughs> okay, somehow I didn't get that one. I guess because I never really came out here. But anyway, if you pull out the camera here, you can totally see it. It looks like Spectacle Rock with a little smiley face. I'm not sure what the smiley face actually is. But it does give you the prompt there that you're taking a picture of something important. That looks like a floating island there. Is it? I, I want to see what that is. It's just a floating piece of crap. Oh, and a nose. Is there anything on the smile? I don't think so. I think it's just there for... Man, I never would have guessed. Huh. 
Because I remember them saying something about it looking like a face, but I thought that would be enough. So yeah, you definitely wouldn't take a picture of that while jumping down to it. Because I tried to do that. Oh, there's a Gliok over there. Oh, we sure had fun with that Gliok in the last video, didn't we? Anyway. Well, what do you say we get back to the stable and turn this in? So I'm kind of thinking maybe those join the army quests that I love so much. Maybe another one will show up after a certain amount of in-game time has passed. That would kind of make sense, rather than them all just spawning right one after another, you know, and you fit, finish one and do another one and whatever else. Anyway, I'd like a good picture. Something huh? tells me he's going to want more than one, though. There's like two spots to put a picture here. Uh. Making things worse, Princess Zelda. Yeah, I've talked to you already, but anyway. Uh -huh. Yeah, I got your picture. You're saying Princess Zelda sealed the well to keep monsters from coming out? To save the stable? Wait a minute. Mm. Is this a side quest you did like ten videos ago that you never turned in? Oh, that's amazing, ah. sir. Thank you for looking into it. Yeah, sure. That's not even the guy that wants the picture. I think it's just, uh, ha. Examine. Ah. Oh, wait, did that picture frame pique your curiosity? Surely I've activated it. Well, I must have activated it, or else it wouldn't be in my list. Mm. Turns out the Stable Association sent the frames, and, blah, 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 and it's cold up there and all that crap. Oh, for that's number two. Well, then this must be number one. Ah. You still have your eye on that empty frame? Yes, I do. So then he wants three pictures, damn. Okay, what else is he gonna want? Oh, uh, here's a picture. <laughs> Let me just show you my Nintendo Switch here. Wait a minute, that's a Nintendo Switch? Yes, it's a Nintendo Switch. That's a Nintendo Switch! Oh, I actually have to pick it. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. here you go. Ah, this is exactly the picture I asked for. This would really liven up the look around here. Is it okay if I paint a copy? Sure. Mm -hmm. No, let me pick another. <laughs> Aw, well that's kind of nice actually. He's lonely, so this picture makes him feel warm and fuzzy. It's just the kind of thing you want to tell your mom you did this today. I made a person feel warm and fuzzy today. And then she finds out it's a fake character. Oh. Wow! Maybe I shouldn't have gotten the bottom of the cliff in that shot, but oh well. Show my appreciation, I'm giving you one pony point. Eh, uh, okay. Sure, great. Ah. Oh yes, and please take this too. This dish is a stable specialty. Ooh, I'll take that. Yeah, sure. I don't know, though. Chili mushrooms, not exactly... Not exactly the most advertising thing that I've ever heard of. I mean, I like risotto and all that crap, but anyway. Um, let me... Oh, wait, wait, wait. It is only two. I thought there was, like, three here for some reason. Okay, I'll take it. Well, let me look at the adventure log, see what number two says. Alright, this one says, The owner of Gerudo Canyon Stable wants to decorate the establishment with a painting of a giant sword. Oh yeah, that one. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, we might as well do it, so activate it. Not that that really makes a difference, but I'll take you to the sword. I'm gonna do it right now. Oh, okay, so I just jumped from this tower right here. We're gonna head up toward kind of the center of this right here. Maybe turn a little bit to the right here. With any luck, we'll be able to see it on the way down. I see a chasm there, too. It's kind of tempting to jump into it just for the sake of being able to say we did. I'm also cold. Sorry, Link. I'm not really paying attention to your well-being here. Alrighty then. Well, let me double-check the map here. So where it's going to be is, like, right up here. Maybe even with the, the tower, we might not get high enough. Oh, what am I talking about? No, we're plenty high. It doesn't look like there's anything there, though. Well, that's because we're too far... Oh, there's a Gliok over there. Jeez, that's what that is. I thought maybe that was it. I'm gonna... Ooh. Oh, how's this gonna work? What kind of a Gliok is that? Alright then, let's answer the age-old question. Can you take a picture and... No, you can mark it, but... Uh, huh. No, okay. Alright, great. I think it's on the other side of the... Wow, whatever that is. I love this environmental stuff where you can see stuff that looks like somebody just rolled a bowling ball through there. A 10,000 foot bowling ball. Yeah, that's the sword right there. Man, how are we going to do this without that Gliok seeing us? It's very quickly, I guess. The sword is right there between the rocks. I don't think the way that he's facing is going to matter too much here. That's not like a one of those, is it? Huh. I'm just going nice and slow here, because I'm... You know what? Screw it. Screw going nice and slow. It's just a game. What's going to happen? He hasn't aggroed me yet. Oh, it's just a frost gliac. Well, of course. It's 
slowly approaching the ground. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, now for the picture. The toilet. I don't know why I said that just now. Usually I say it because another word that ends in T reminds me of it. Okay, we got what we wanted. Let's get back out of here. Ah, Link, you still spy on that empty frame. Do you have something that I could fill it with? Would you just use one of your own pictures? I'd love to see that. I'd love for you to express yourself rather than to do some preconceived crap that I gotta tell you to do. Ah, this is exactly the picture I asked for. Thanks for riding my balls. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. I even got the Gleok in the picture for you. Yeah, people are gonna love to see that while they eat. Just have the fear of God put into them and make them poop their pants right then and there. Then they'll just have to eat again, which gives you more business. So, it's a win-win for the both of us, I reckon. Plus, I get a pony point on top of that. Damn, this, uh... This Sheikah, like, torso unit with those pants, though, uh, it's kind of a weird color combination, if I'm being honest here. It's not terrible, but, you know, at the same time. Jeez. Alright. Well, that's done. Okay, so that takes care of one of them. Like, one that just got replaced with another, but I think that's gonna happen more than a few times here. I never did the Hidden Treasure at Lizard Lakes. What the heck? Let's do that now. Let's do it. Yeah, it's even nice enough to mark it for us. Well, the marker is in Goron City. It's the person who told us to go there. This is Secret of the Lizard Lakes. We'll just use our usual shrine here. Alright, here we are, y'all. There's one of the lakes right there. Man, how cool would it be if something like that existed in real life? Probably not that cool. But anyway, in the description... So in the description it says Bluto told you about Lizard Lakes. One brother hunts what the other brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. Okay, I... I didn't remember that right, I guess, because I thought the, the riddle was that one lizard could see it and the other one couldn't. Which would make sense, considering what it actually is. Let me get down a little lower here. So what it actually is, is just a cave. Which I guess when you when they say, like, seeks what's inside, you figure, well, it must be inside the cave, so yeah. And the cave's actually right there. And this lizard is basically just looking at it, so... That's all the context you're gonna get for that. Anyway. Alright, you know, Bo, you're around here? Oh, yeah, I just saw you. There you are. Go to it, buddy. And then you start using you more often, man. So, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Put on the. Yeah, we're gonna need that. <laughs> it's in the caves, it gets a little hot here. Discovery! Lizard's Burrow. It would be easy enough to find this on your own, I think, probably just by accident. Oh, that's a bomb flower gotten in the habit of basically picking up every time I see one of those. I don't know what I'm hitting this for and why it's taking so long. Well, it's because it's a six power spear. But we got an amber for it, so yay. Oh, oh gosh. Wow. Just a treasure chest sitting right out there. No problem. Let's go get it. Varudania Divine Helm. There you go, boys. And now, just as before, if you actually wear this, then Unobo wears it as well. Turn around, Unobo. Let me see you in that sexy mask. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That is awesome. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Yeah, well, it does say Flame Guard on it right there, so... Like, obviously, the defense is bunk right now. Maybe we can fix that with a few more Star Fragments. What was that shadow that just moved past me? <laughs> I don't know. Something happened up there. There's, like, a plume of smoke. I'm a little curious. Not curious enough to deviate from what I'm doing right now, though. Gathering Pirates. I have been talking about this one for a while. I'd like to go ahead and do it. And we're kind of in, already in the area, so... Let's kind of shoehorn our way right over there. Alright, which sort of armor should we entrap ourselves in for this one? Go with the sneaky set. I mean, at this point, you know, it was such a big deal when I got my sneaky set up to 16 defense, and now it's like one of the lowest defense armors I have again. This goes right back to how it was at the beginning. <laughs> Anyway, well, shoot, the quest marker's over here. What am I doing? Oh, uh, yeah, we can see it from here, just barely. I thought it was two ships, not one. Maybe it is, and just the angle. Yeah, I guess it is two ships. Okay. Feels like the wind is blowing a little bit here. I'm just gonna take my time with this beautiful flight. Nobody's gonna see me, nobody's gonna hear me, nobody's gonna smell me, and most of all, nobody's gonna touch me. I'm sure that's not true. Man, we got Aerocudas flying out overhead, too. i tell you what. 
Let's see, who wants to be first here? Maybe I should land up on the crow's nest or something. Just kind of sneak in, you know? Ooh, whoa, I'm debating. Nah, screw that. I'm just gonna... Ugh, little do these guys know, I'm like literally 20 feet from them right now. If somebody was 20 feet from me up and to the left, I wouldn't know about it either. Alright, that takes care of you. Any other? I thought there were two here. Oh, just looking around. Okay, I guess not. Did anybody hear that? Did anybody see that? Is the life bar even up yet? Because usually there's a life bar for these big ones like this. Especially if it's for a side quest. Oh, wait. Is that somebody... Wait, who's sleeping? Oh, God! Somebody just threw a rock at me! Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, you just blew the whistle. The whistleblower's got me! Okay, this wasn't somebody sleeping, man. This is just fish? There's just fish up here, I tell you. A lot of them, too. Gee, <laughs> Guess if you ever wanted Mighty Porgies, you know where to look. Oh, I am not. I am not. I am not. I am not. I'm gonna get something better here. Man, I gotta go kill some more stone taluses. I got nothing here to, to break armor with. I'm just gonna have to use a pot then. Well, I'm gonna need to get somewhere where I'm safe to... Here, do this. <laughs> get somewhere safe so we can pull out a couple of pots here. Oh, well, it's not safe up here either. What has happened to my weapon collect? Well, I guess fighting those Lionels, yeah. That would make sense. Ooh, that's good. What? Oh, I fused to the bow, man. I was trying to fuse to the silver harbling horns I got sitting out here. There we go. Plus 32. Plus whatever this is. I mean, hell, even a sturdy wooden stick at this point becomes amazing. <laughs> It's a lot better than it was. Okay, so first, 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 we gotta break the armor. Yeah, I got just a thing. Oh, don't get away from that. <laughs> Boy, a pot on the stick of a spear? Not a bad little place to be. Are you about to swing a third time? Okay, yeah, I was, <laughs> think I would've gotten used to that by now. This almost looks like a stick on the end of a whatever. Oh, yeah, two at once. Man, we love it. We love to see it. You love to smell it? You love to hear it? I already said that whole five senses thing when I... What? What just happened there? That ship's already on fire over there, so go figure. Oh, there's like a rock hammer right there. Holy crap. You know that's gotta hurt, though. I love that feeling of just turning the horriblins against the bokoblins, because that's kind of what I'm doing. Uh, you're dead. No, you're not. Okay, alright. Wanna uh, try that move one more time? Psst, that's what I thought. Wait, oh, it's, oh, there's a second one. A second one snuck in behind Cheryl. Damn, I hate when they sneak in behind Cheryl. Anyway. Well, now we can see the uh, life bar for the overall monster forces. These ships are pretty. Look at these seashells here. What the heck? Whoever decorated these ships should get a raise, man. I love them. Oh, ow. That really hurt. I'm wearing 16 armor, and you're still doing nothing. Just to tell you something. Um, let's try the stairs. We might have to explore these ships in some huge way here. So I guess there are alternate things you could do. Uh, they give you resources here, and Lord knows, I mean, hell, look at this. Got a nice steel ball here? Who wants that? I guess you're getting it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Got a hover stone over here for some reason. And we got one of those. We got a treasure chest. Oh, thank you for that. I actually needed that. So, yeah. Okay. Let's get a different shield here. Well, actually, I guess maybe get the one that's already broke breaking. Use that. Are there more rockets here? Yeah, there's one more there. Alright, let's go ahead and fuse a couple rockets here. So we can take care of the rest of this by probably doing this, actually, if I had to guess. So we're way up in the air like this. Let's head for ship number three. Oh, we got a boss bow cobbler. Did he just... Why would you do that? What are you doing to these people? <sighs> Nothing I can't take care of, I guess. Oh, man. I almost changed my mind there. I almost put a puff stream on that instead. Maybe I should have put a puff stream on that instead. I don't know. It would have been more interesting. I know, I saw that silver one behind you. I don't think I didn't see that there. What, what is this guy doing? This guy's crazy, man! He's running with his head tilted toward the ground. 
Like, can you imagine if somebody was driving in a car? <laughs> can you imagine if somebody was driving in a car and their head was so obviously pointed at the ground? Like they were looking down into their lap. Like, I'm sure that happens all the time anyway. Well, hell, as far as that goes, cell phones and all that, yeah. But, like, this guy doesn't have a cell phone. He's just driving and looking at his lap. Not at the road, not at his wife in the front seat. Which, who said he had a wife? I don't know. Way to just assume that everybody has one of those. Wow, we're really close to the end here. Uh, did I get the silver droppings? Well, I should... Oh, well, maybe. There's one more still hanging around, or, or, out, uh, hanging out around here somewhere, and if I had to guess, he's probably on this ship. Probably in the crow's nest, if I had to guess. I already said if I had to guess, though. Let me see. All we gotta do is look for a life bar or a question mark. I don't know how far back I need to go to be able to see. I don't think he's up there, though. No, there's, I don't think there's anything up there. I also really wouldn't be surprised if he was on one of the other ships. Well, you know, in the interest of saving time here, let's just... Shit. Oh, God. Oh, I see him. He's right over there. Oh, I said, didn't I say look for a question mark? There you go. Oh, there's a ladder right there. Just grab that. Excellent. Now we don't have to waste stamina anymore. You're not... Nobody's gonna answer your horn. You shut the fuck up. Shut up. Yeah. Well, that treasure chest is covering up the entire screen right there. And naturally, the camera points to it, just like it did in Ocarina of Time. I never realized how much I took that for granted in Ocarina of Time. When you solve a puzzle or open a door or anything, the camera always points right to it, regardless of where you're standing, which way you're facing. It shows you where it is, so you know exactly where to go. And here, it did it there just now, too. I'm not sure why I didn't, like, take more note of that in this game, that it, that it actually did that. Oh, look. My cannon club is finally about to break. After how many parts of being... Oh, I don't want to throw... You know what? I, we can drop that. Yeah. Blue Henox Hammer. That thing looks disgusting, man. I want two of those. I'll take two. Anyway, I'll also take Tyson. Ah, uh, let's go back to the stable. I do love these little quests where it's all just about, you know, killing monsters to make Hyrule safer. It's just a nice little sentiment or something. It's like, sure, you're always killing monsters to make Hyrule safer. I mean, even in Zelda 1 you were doing that. But the way they present it in this game to make it feel like you're actually contributing, and in a way that you can see the effect that your actions are having on people, you can see the joy in their faces, you know? Anyway, I sound so sarcastic, I honestly, I'm not being... I'm trying to be stupid, I guess. Or just annoying. We wouldn't stand a chance against those monsters if they decided to attack this stable. Maybe I should look for a job somewhere else. No, my lady, you don't have to do that now. Because I took care of them. It's not that I don't believe you, but I need to check for myself. It's the only way I'll sleep at night. It's night right now, and you're not sleeping. Oh, well, that's probably why, because you haven't seen that I did it yet. Oh my god, I'm standing in the exact same position, spot, and posture that I was before I went over there. I didn't come at you from the other side and try to talk to your mine cart. Anyway, that reminds me, do you have a pony points card? Yeah, I do. We are just racking up the pony points today. She gave me two of them. Oh my god. It's like that time when I was at the barber and I was like six years old and he gave me a coupon for a free cookie. And it wasn't actually a coupon, it was just a piece of paper that he scribbled the words free cookie on. But when we took it to the cookie store next door, it worked, and she gave me four cookies. I still remember that. I still remember repeatedly trying to tell my mom, He gave me four! And I, just, I just really needed her to know how much I appreciated it. But I was probably repeating myself to the point of being very annoying. What else we got in here? <coughs> Disaster. Oh, God, I don't even want to do that right now. Where are the wells? We haven't visited this girl in a while. She wants to know how many wells, and it says that so far I've told her about six of them. I must have, like, 20 more of those by now. Why don't we go see, shall we? You know another thing that I think would have been an interesting reward to get in this game that they don't really give you? It's just the ability to instantly change the time like you do in Xenoblade. Because that would just be cool. I don't know. <laughs> it wouldn't be very realistic, but I don't know if immersion is really an issue with a game like this. Like, I don't feel like playing the Sun Song in Ocarina of Time, for example, 
breaks the immersion of that game, even though you're literally seeing the sun dip down into the sky way faster than it should ever do. Wait, it's you. I'm fascinated by the many old wells across Hyrule, but new wells are pretty interesting too, like this one. Have you come to tell me about the location of more wells? Yep, got more for you. Thanks, so 16 of them. Oh, only 16? Wow. We got some work to do then. So, I have an awful habit of walking right past them though. There's still 36 more to find. That's not an indication of where we're at in the game here by any stretch. Oh, uh, why am I picking these up? I have no idea. Why am I running in here either? I don't remember what's in here, but I remember it's cozy, so... I just want to go back and return to it again. Bah. No, there's just... wow. There's a spot to stand here, which makes me think if I... oh. Oh, and this just takes you back up into here, yeah. Can you see that from up here? Oh my god, you totally can. The whole time, the whole time! Hmm. I don't think I have enough for... Oh, it's the horse. I was like, what is, why is my tracker going off? Okay, then. Well, that's not going to complete the side quest, but at least it'll get us up to date. Got a Statue of Wisdom. Oh, oh, this one's easy. Let's just go do this. Yeah. Got a Statue of Wisdom. Um, where is that? We found it already, but I don't remember, like, where it... Oh, it's right here. Aha! <laughs> well, that's easy. Oh, my God. It's after midnight already? Jeez, man. I don't want to go to bed. I did take a nap today, though, so... Which I almost never do these days. Probably should do it more often, it was kind of nice. This is a quick one hour nap, no problem. Oh, ouch, I saw it, I saw the red. Oh, and it's really cold out here, let's get you all bundled up here. I don't want you to have to spend any of your willpower resisting the pain. Oh my god, that thing is huge, jeez, okay. Uh, let's see, where's Nadra's claw at? I know it's in here somewhere. I know it's in here somewhere, do 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 somewhere, somewhere. I know it's in here somewhere. Somewhere in my bag of shit. There it is. That was my favorite song for the longest time. It's called I Know You're Out There Somewhere by the Moody Blues. Okay, I did it. Yes, thank you. Got a sapphire. Okay, but more importantly, you got a bottle. Oh, I miss bottles. Got a Statue of Wisdom complete. Well, there you go. That's all three of them. Wait, does that mean that now we can do the thing? Wait, I, I didn't realize I hadn't done that yet. This was a shrine quest, right? Where's the treasure? Oh, man, I wish I had a fart right now, and I would totally tell you where the treasure is. <laughs> okay, anyway. um, Ooh. Do we have time to do one more? Because I'm at, like, 55 minutes right now. Well, I'm kind of thinking maybe next time we'll start with the Fierce Deity, because we haven't done that yet, and Lord knows, Fierce Deity is a pretty popular fella. Uh, what what else is there to say? Oh, flowers. Right. Yeah, so these uh, these guys here, where we paid them 100 rupees and they told us about a bunch of different side quests, I don't know which ones they told us about. Maybe it's like these three or something. But the Fierce Deity, surprisingly enough, is actually in the general vicinity of where they are. It's most of the other ones, the quest marker is just here, and you got to find what they're talking about. And then again, that's the joy of solving puzzles, you know? That looks like a different dog. Nope, it's the same dog. Is there anything we have, don't have pictures of here that we need to get pictures of before we go? <laughs> Why am I doing this right now? Oh, I thought that was his butt for a second. Wait, he likes my camera. Oh, he likes me. Well, okay, before we go, I'll feed the dog. Here, I'm going to give you a prime raw gourmet meat. Just hold it right here. Here you go. Boy, you're going to be eating on that all day, buddy. Wait. What? No. No. Eat meat. Eat meat. There we go. There we go. Oh, he just... He just buried his head into that thing. The same way that this cat once buried his head in some food when he was really hungry. Okay. All right. Flowers. Um... Yeah, this will work. Okay, see you next time on Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Bye.